Some days are just not like every other day. Uh, NBA basketball playoffs are here, and if you don't like basketball, whatever, that's fine. I love basketball. And one thing you can't deny is that when the in the playoffs start in the NBA, they just take it to another level. That is definitely the best basketball playing you're ever going to watch. Today I'm fishing a creek that is not like other creeks. It is on another level. Um, I it's just it's just a special creek. I've only fished it a few times, but I've talked to several people that think it may be the best creek in Tennessee. And that being said, I've heard that for about three or four other creeks, and all of them within about an hour from Nashville, like this one is. Um, dude, but I, I am like, I'm so ready today that I'm afraid I'm a little bit too ready. I got my, my ego net, I'm bringing the net, got my bag, fishing pole is ready, camera stuff's ready. Um, I'm getting in this creek and it's a beautiful, gorgeous creek. Fishing for some big smallmouth today and I'm really targeting big smallmouth. Oh, wow. Dude, I just saw some come at it first cast. That's, you know, that's usually a good sign, but they weren't big. I'm, I'm going with a five inch big bait swim bait starting out with. I got a lot of plans of changing up lures, but I really want to pull out some of those bigger fish. So I, I like the, I've been liking these swim baits, uh, the big bait swim baits. Oh, here comes one. Oh no, no, what was that? I think I just scared a fish off. There's already a lot of activity. There's a, boom, right there's a small mouth. There's two of them right there. Dude, they are in here. But these right here are like smaller ones. I'm looking for those big ones. There's so much bait fish in here. And this water is so clear. Man, like I said, not all creeks are equal. This is a special place. Oh, here they come, here they come. Hit it. Oh, that's a good smallmouth. That's like a one pound smallmouth, at least. I know I'm going for bigger ones, but one pound starting out would be great. I've seen a lot of fish. They're just following this thing or just barely nipping at it. Yeah. That's a big one. That's a big one. Big one. First take today. And there's, oh, there's another one with it. That's a big, big fish. Oh my. Oh my. Right off that tree stump right there. The little deep pocket tree stump. Giant smallmouth. Exactly. I'm looking for today. Oh man, dude, what a start! Oh my goodness, what a start! Let's get over here, dude. This is crazy. Oh my, look at that fish! Oh, he wasn't coming off. Oh, he just ate that thing. This is a simple, easy meal for this guy. Using that swim bait there. Look at that beast. <laughs> Let's put him in the net. The way I got, the good thing I brought this net. I was just hoping this would happen. I didn't know it'd be the first fish. All right, just got this new scale. Three pounds, seven ounces. Maybe take off an ounce for the uh, grippers. Dude, this happens so fast, I, can, I can't barely believe it. It's almost a three and a half pound, just in a three and a half pound smallmouth. First fish today. That's, look at that thing. That is a giant smallmouth. You just can't go catch those everywhere. I don't even know what to say. 30 minutes, I've been here 30 minutes, and I've seen a ton of small ones. There was one there, I think that was a bigger one. There, there may have been a couple other ones right there with it. Just came out of that little deep hole as I'm working my way upstream, hammered it. This is not a normal place. Oh my goodness. I, if I don't catch anything else, dude, I'm done. But it looks like I'm gonna catch some more. And he just nailed that swim bait. So we're gonna stick with that unless we come across some real deep holes.
Oh, oh my goodness, I had a good one. No. Uh, my reel was messed up. I was looking down messing it. When I picked it up, he was pulling off with it. Here comes one, here comes one. Yeah, it's a pretty good fish. I watched him just darting, but he's like, he's like, he came up like he was definitely gonna hit it. I've seen several probably about this size just get really close and not hit it. He committed to it. Super good fish right there. Dude, gorgeous fish. Nice. Thank you, brother. What the heck was that? Oh my! There's a giant behind it. Oh my. Dude, that is a giant. Oh, why did he not hit it? He followed it, followed it, followed it. Oh, man. All right, well, I've tried a few different lures in that deep hole here, and a, I hadn't seen that bass again. And I've been wanting to try this water plopper, so I think I'm just gonna put this water plopper on and just kind of start going upstream. Two of them. He hit it twice. I saw him right in front of me. As soon as he saw it, he went and went went at it. They're a little bit smaller, but I should have got hooked. Nope. Just ain't happening today. They just ain't committing to it. I had a couple. I had some little ones hit at it, and I don't know if it's the color. I mean, it could be the color, but. I think it's just, they just didn't want to hit the top water that hard. There's something on it, there he is. There's one. Hey, what is that, what is that? The rock bass came through. There's my first rock bass today. There you go. I know that they're hanging out in that shade right there. I know there's some decent fish in there. Look at this smallmouth. He's just, he's just cruising in right in front of me. He's probably 13, 13 inch fish or so. Oh, there's a good one right there. He, there. There's a bunch of smallmouth right there. I cannot believe they're not hitting this. So this is my go-to lure. Usually, I mean, sometimes you just can't get them to hit. These guys, they're just like all around it, but they will not bite it. And I can't, they may have bit it and picked it up and dropped it off, but I can't really see them that clearly. Oh my goodness, there's some, there's so many good fish coming and going off this ledge. I see them now on this hole right here. Dude, there's some good fish in there. There's one. I'll be out of that tree. That's a large mouth. I was watching several of them right here, just in this little deep pocket. And uh, just kind of throwing in there, waiting, waiting, waiting. Got one of them to hit there. There's one. Uh, I'm just gonna stay and work this little area for a while, it looks like. It's a little bend and it's like a, it goes to a long deep stretch. So at the front of this bend right here, there's uh, some fish eating. Uh, another little 
large mouth. Wow, would you look at my look at my feet? I just felt something bumping into me. There's all kinds of chargers there, all kinds of little minnows. There's like bumping into my legs. Just hanging out right around me to like a height, I guess. <laughs> There's so many little fish there. There's one. Another rock bass. I got no problem getting that thing in their mouth. They got a big old mouth. Oh, I think I'm about to go down, back downstream. The creek's splitting off or it's getting smaller. Oh, there we go. There it goes. Oh, of course it's a rock bass. Smallmouth won't hit it, rock bass will. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, don't do that. Got one, got the little one, of course. There's a couple of twice the size and they, they came up to it really fast. Then they just picked up and the little guy came in there and got it. Oh, oh, there's a good small mouth. I kept watching this little spot right here. Oh, he's coming for it, I think. Nope, he's not. They are on high alert today. Oh, that's a little better than I thought. I thought there was a little guy over there. It's chunky. I don't even know what this is. Nice. Large mouth. Chunky little guy. Right off the bank. <laughs> I'm th th this is close to where I saw that really big one, and I'm, I'm wondering if it was a large mouth. If it was a small mouth, it, it was just like a massive fish. Little large mouth. Oh yes, there's a good fish. Oh yes. We've been looking for another good one. How big is this fish? I can't tell. Wait a minute. Oh man, I think that's a that's a giant rock bass. That's a giant rock bass. Do I need to net this thing? Almost. Holy cow. <laughs> oh man, last time I was here I caught a giant rock bass. I think this is bigger. Look at that thing. Oh my, I gotta get a picture. All right, we're weighing this thing. Probably not near as heavy as I think he is, but. Wow, 15 ounces. That's the heaviest, I think it's the heaviest one I've ever caught. I don't know. He is just an ounce shy of a pound. That's just a beast of a rock bass. You can see how clear this water is. It's so cool looking at it with polarized glasses. I can see all these little fish. There's a little smallmouth right there. All kinds of little stuff swimming around. But this is the, um, this is the deep hole where I, I, I missed a good one. I'm pretty sure it was a pretty good fish um, earlier, so. I'm gonna sink it in here. Do a little, do a little fishing around. Maybe we can pull something out of here. Ought to be a few. There's one out there. Oh, he's pretty good. Oh no, he's not giant, but man. Oh my, I gotta tighten up my drag. You pulled me right into the trees. Don't break off. He's a good fish. I'm using a, so I'm using 15 pound braid and I got a 10 pound mono leader. And uh, I got it. I don't want it real tight. You know, you want to give some slack because sometimes they can get you tangled up pretty quick or something, and or rub you on some rocks. But and I'm using a just a lighter wire hook. It's not a real heavy hook, but that's just a pound smallmouth. But that's a really good fish. It feels weird down down further. I feel like I'm gonna 
get more. Something about up in those stretches, it was hard to uh, get them to hit as well. There's one. Little guy. These are a lot, you know, these are the places that they're feeding at anyway. It's gonna be right where the current's coming in. There you go. Oh, wow. He was just hanging out right by the shade, I guess. Don't get in there, don't get in there, don't get in there. Nice. Hit the ground and he hit it. Hit the water and he hit it, I guess. I'm gonna use it now. He's, he's a pretty good fish. Come here. Oh, yeah. Strong guy. Dude, that's a pretty fish. Good small mouth right there. Yeah. Look at the colors on that one. He's got all kinds of colors. Just really gorgeous. Oh, this is a big deep hole it looks like coming up. I'm go I've gone downstream now past where I started. So I don't know anything about this. Just a little way. I'm just gonna go a little ways. I'm, I'm getting close to being done. I just, I was hoping to catch another like over two pound, but um, they're getting really hard to catch right now. They're really getting tough in this hot weather. Everyone is middle of the day, I think. But you know what? I still feel like there's another one out there we're gonna eat. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Oh, I got him. I didn't know I had him. He was just all calm and everything. A small mouth chasing it. That's cool. All right, come here, come here. Let's get a large mouth. <laughs> Pretty, I've got a real bright stripe down here. There's a good fish. Mmm, rock bass. Man, sometimes when they, their first pull, you're like, I have no idea what I got. Then they just kind of let up. Okay. Oh, we got a turtle. We got a turtle sighting. Don't you get in your shell. Trying to get away. I got gotcha. you. Oh, oh, he's got me. No, he don't got me. Trying to get in without. Oh, there we go. Without getting pinned. Yeah, me out here taming the wild, catching turtles. It's coming at me. Oh, where's the good one? I was wondering if there's anything in that hole. The creek kind of splits right there. And I looked over and saw this hole. He's pretty good, not giant. And I was like, if there's anything in there, he's gonna be hungry because it's kind of a small little hole he's got here. Pretty fish, pretty fish. Come here, you missed it. Also. Yep. There he is. Oh, he was barely hooked on there. Pretty fish right there. How am I getting through this thing? I gotta go a little bit further. All right, we're just gonna go a little, oh, it's a nice hole right here where I'm standing. 
we're gonna go a little bit further and I'll be satisfied. Oh, there's one. Hey, okay. Get, get off me. There's a spider on me. I'm trying to catch fish with spiders crawling on me. Ooh, he's a chunky little guy. These guys are like super healthy. Wow, that's a really healthy fish. Look at his body compared to his mouth. Nice. Oh, bleeding just a little bit, but he'll be all right. I barely got him. Like that guy. Right where he should be, out on the little eddy off the current. All right, well, that might be the last one. We'll see. Oh, well, I have to say I'm a little beat down right now. I've been out here, uh, I think five and a half hours, and uh, it'll be about six hours. I probably got 30 more minutes to, get, to go back to my vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to that big bites bait. I mean, some people probably, say, said, probably would have said should have stayed with it, and maybe. I just saw a lot of fish that were real hesitant that I did end up catching on the Helgamite, but I just thought it would bring, I thought I was gonna get a few more big ones, especially after that start. Man, what a start. You can't have a start like that and then you know, have that be your best fish. It's just, it's kind of, it automatically has a little let down, but I'm going to throw this around for just a little bit and just to go back up to my vehicle. But what a day this has been pretty cool. Well, I didn't even have my camera on. I didn't know it. Check that guy out. I was talking the whole thing through camera. What nine super awesome fish Hell on the swim bait. He just hammered it. Uh, yeah, good fish. Yeah. There go. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Dude, that one back there hit, and then this one right here, the same pool. That one was the back of the pool. This is uh, the front. Oh, man. That's swim bait. Maybe I should have stuck with the swim bait more, but I, I know that I'm catching these guys a lot because I'm, I'm coming back upstream and getting it in front of them. Whereas I think I spooked these off when I came through here because I had to get through that tree there. Nice. Dude, these are, boom, both just solid fish. Nice, like solid one pound smallmouth. All right, I gotta get something to eat. Man, stop at this gas station. Check this out. Look at all these pies that are in there. All right, I'm getting a cheeseburger. I'm definitely getting one pie, maybe a couple of them, I don't know. So you probably already know, I'm not gonna be able to sh share the location or the exact creek uh, that I was at here. I've actually promised two different people I wouldn't share the name, but it, it's uh, it's definitely a special place. There, There's some places out there like that, but this one is another one that there's not any, really any public access. There's, it's all through private property, and if you were kayaking, I guess it'd be all, all right, but there's just not any good location, not very many good locations. There's so much of the creek I want to fish more. I just, I know that there's giants in there that I don't know, even know how to get access to. Maybe I'll work on, you know, finding a landowner here and there. But also I talked about the NBA at the beginning of this video and then now they're boycotting a couple games here. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I, I like basketball. I enjoy watching basketball. That's something that I, I really understand and I appreciate. And I, it's just something that I really just kind of sit back and watch basketball. Now they're taking it off. I don't know, maybe I have to have my own basketball channel here, make my own basketball videos. I don't know what's gonna happen. But um, anyways, thanks for watching. I was using this uh, medium, this is an ARC 610. It's a medium uh, rod. Um, I was using this Lose Reel. That's the one I got off that uh, Lose combo. It's got 15 pound, um, the X9 Berkeley braid. It's pretty, pretty smooth casting and I was using a 10 pound Mono, I like to use a mono or fluorocarbon. I go back and forth um, on the leader, um, just kind of whichever one I've 
I'm, I'm trying different ones out, but you know, just a, a pretty tough leader. It's got a lot of abrasion resistance for those rocks when I'm fishing rocky areas. Um, that this 10 pound line is gonna hold up from getting scraped. Where if you're not using a leader, the braid will, will break pretty easy uh, going over those scrapes. So thanks so much for watching. This was an awesome day. It kind of ruins me sometimes when I get to go fish these kind of places. But uh, I really, whenever I get to do it, it's so awesome. And I just, I just have to like really appreciate it. So thanks and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next video.